here we have my golf cart. I purchased it two years ago and without a motor or a transmission. Now I uh, did a conversion where I took a 6.5 horsepower Princess Auto motor and installed it on the drive line. And this worked great for two years. You can see the rear axle of the golf cart here, the engine, the chain drive, the centrifugal clutch. My original had a, had a torque converter on it and it worked fine too. I just uh, thought I'd get more uh, top end speed with the centrifugal clutch. Worked great, to, but to the point it uh, started to throw the chain off. And I was never able to correct it. So, the, the other issue I had with it, I didn't have reverse. And that was a problem. The golf cart's pretty heavy to move back and forth. So, what I did was I took an STX 38. This one happens to be a 30. And took it, took the power plant out of it, and made it so it would fit the golf cart. Now here are some of the pieces I've taken off. The front axle I cut off just behind where it's mounted. I have the steering column and the steering wheel and the seat were removed. I took these pieces and installed them on the golf cart. So you can see the back half of this machine happens to be an STX38 with a hydrostatic transmission. And it mounted in there not too badly. There were some issues trying to get the fitment right, but overall it's worked out pretty well. So there we have the motor. You can see it. On the side here we have the big lever that controls forward and reverse. And now we have forward and reverse in our golf cart. We'll just give it a quick start up here. reverse. I used the original STX 38 gas tank and installed it in the back. I cut the golf cart frame off at the back. I cut the back bumper out and uh, seating position. The way I did uh, the gear shift linkage was I hooked onto the original shifter, made up my own little uh, linkage system and that worked fine too. And the motor seems to fit in there fine. It's not too loud. I have a reasonable forward speed and a reasonable backup speed. The back axle is mounted solid, so I've lost some suspension. But other than that, it works quite well. And I've never found a video on how to do this. Now the back wheels look a little bit odd, but we'll get them covered up with sheet metal and it should work fine. Lawn tractor conversion with golf cart.